superstar. I'm so happy to announce I hear money for you this episode. But um, maybe we should discuss how come the math ain't mathing. I'm trying to tell you there's people that's not on your split sheet that's fitting to get a cut. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. What? You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. Bubble on deck. I'm your host, the Barrel Bubble. Look, aka the I Hear Money Coach, aka your favorite state superstar. Look, aka look the calculator. This episode, we should look. We finna figure out. <laughs> Yeah, when we get up in this episode, we're going to figure out how come you got to share some money with some people that's not on your split sheet. We're going to talk about all the people you got to share with and why and how much can we get into it. Now, before we get into it, I want to get into why I look, why my watch is missing and you think I forgot to subscribe every time. Can I tell you if this is the first time you ever watch any one of these episodes? Look, you got a couple things you got to do for me before we get started. Look, right now, this is a smart podcast. I'm trying to tell you the clock going to keep tick, 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 ticking on this podcast. Yeah. Listen, throughout the episode, this is what you could do. If you've never seen an episode, I need you to leave me that five-star review like you know what to do. Look, even if you don't know, I'm telling you what to do. So now you know what to do. Anyway, look. After you leave that five-star review for the podcast, you could do it on every platform or you could do it on just the platform you listen to. But just make sure you do that for me. Okay, yeah. Look, after you do that, you come back over here to this YouTube or this Apple podcast or this Spotify podcast or whatever platform you on. Go ahead and subscribe. Could you turn on the notifications? Look, if you're on YouTube, hit the bell, ding dong, on the all notifications. That way you know when every single episode drop. Look, sometimes it might drop on a monday sometimes it might drop on a thursday i'm telling you it's look, more than likely it's gonna happen both of those in it on every week and let's look look a holiday or a birthday or look at my throat get hoarse look at my throat start tripping and we look my little pony in out here and i can't speak then we might skip an episode or two but for the most part we finna be here yeah anyway Turn on the notifications in case the schedule get a little wonky. Do that for me. Anyway, look why this podcast is running and why these gems are being dropped and brought to you by <laughs> this one. She going to bring you the gems anyway. Look why the gems are being brought. Could you do me a favor? Like, share, comment, all of that youtube stuff, all of that Sherry social media e stuff. Look, share it to the people that need to know how to cut these splits. Look, share it for the people that don't know when they get a sync placement in. They don't know who get what. They look at the split sheet and there's too many lines giving too many splits and they still confused. Look, I'm trying to tell you. Look, or they, they get a check in. They get a payment in from a placement. And they don't know why the numbers are looking smaller than what the all-in fee was. Yeah, we're going to get into all of that. Share the episode with them folk. So they, look, put them up on game. Could you tell them it don't cost them nothing but their ears and a little bit of time to hear this podcast. Now subscribe every time gonna play throughout the podcast but in the meantime look in between time yeah in between time are you subscribing can we talk about why this podcast was created because i'm trying to tell you look the podcast got four goals in mind and i'm trying to tell you we was thinking about you the whole time now god number one is to save you money in your sink business i'm trying to tell you you got to have a business to save money in it <laughs> yeah anyway um if you don't have a business you can visit the sync superstar academy and get start your sync biz now so you can start your savings now yeah look this what else you gonna need to do you could get the sync biz tax deductions i'm trying to tell you you could save up to six figures or more. Look, I be saving money. I'm trying to tell you Uncle Sam can't have my money. Anyway, it's legal. Go ahead and get that book and start saving you some money if you got your sink biz. Now, that's goal number one. Save you money in your sink biz. I'm going to do that on the podcast too. But those are just some resources in case you don't even know where to begin. Yeah. Look, goal number two is to make you more money in music life session. Look, we're going to make you some more money. Look, we want cheese. We want ducats. We want bread. Yeah. <laughs> we want it now. Anyway, if you want it now, I'm going to introduce you to the sponsor a little bit later. But just let, just so you know, goal number two going to do that for you in 30 days or less. Look, goal number three. 
is to transform your mindset. I'm trying to tell you, we trying to get your mind right. Let your mind ain't right because you don't think that this money is for you. You out here making hit records and you look, you just sitting on this good music ain't making no money from it. Ew. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you that music is an asset? And can I tell you that? I don't know whether you know, but this is a life principle. I'm going to break it down today for you. Income follows assets. So if you sitting on music, some income should be coming from it. I'm trying to tell you music licensing going to get going to get your, your your assets to making some income. Yeah. Look, like we're not just sitting on our music. We're not just shelving our own career. We're not just sitting up here saying starving artists when we got songs that could be eating up this money. I'm trying to tell you I hear money and we're going to get to it. Anyway, when you saving money in your sink business, when you making more money in music licensing, and look at look when your mind is right, you're going you're gonna to activate goal number four. Goal number four of this podcast. When we out here saying we hear money, it's because we done activated our superstar. Can I tell you what a sink superstar is? Look, six figures minimum consistently from music licensing. I'm not talking about you got a side job or two or three and that's how you get your income. I'm talking about it's just coming from your music. Look, you ain't did nothing but make music. You ain't did nothing but make good music and now you're going to make good money. Yeah. Okay, now, look, this podcast, look, this podcast is going to be running, look, weeks, months, years. It's going to take a little bit of while for you to superstar if you're just listening to the podcast. But if that's what your budget allow, look, if you got to learn music licensing for free 99, keep it locked on this podcast. I'm trying to tell you, subscribe, turn on the notifications, start at episode one and work your way up to superstardom. Now, if you ain't got time for that, look. If look, if you trying to superstar this year, look, if you trying to superstar in a couple of months, look, if you trying to superstar right now, I'm trying to tell you, look, you're going to need to meet the sponsor, the sponsor for this episode, the sponsor for all the episodes thus far, <laughs> yeah, is the Sync Superstar Academy. I'm trying to tell you this academy got some resources that you wasn't expecting. Look, the academy was created so that you could superstar in these sync streets. There's a resource on that sync superstar academy. It's called the 24 hour sync superstar activation challenge. I'm trying. I've been trying. Look, I done told you in a bunch of episodes, but you ain't, you look, you don't hear me. You don't hear money. You ain't listening. If you listen closely, I'm trying to tell you the 24 hour sync superstar activation challenge. Go activate your superstar. Yeah. In a couple of weeks. Look, it ain't going to take forever. I don't got all day to teach you how to superstar. Can I tell you? It's a challenge. Can I tell you? Look, it's a self-study. I don't re- look. I'm telling you and teaching you every single thing I know. I don't hold nothing back. You know what this challenge is? This challenge is what I would have taught me if I didn't know sync. Because I'm trying to tell you, I don't hold nothing back. Yeah. Go ahead to the SyncSuperstar.com. SyncSuperstar.com. That's the website. That's where the challenge is. That's where greatness is. That's where you're going to start superstarring. Anyway, in the meantime and in between time, keep it locked to the podcast. Because look, we out here. This episode about to begin and I'm going to teach you some stuff that ain't in the challenge. Because that's look, I just got a whole lot of information about sync that you need to know. <laughs> yeah. Now, before I get the yapping and rapping about what you need to know, can I tell you what you got to know before we even get started? You got to know that this look at this episode, there's a disclaimer. The disclaimer is here. It ain't even coming. It's here. <laughs> yeah. Look, I just want to let you know that this episode, we might talk a little taxes. We might talk a little savings. We might talk a little legal. We might talk a little business. I need to let you know that I am not your lawyer. I am not your CPA. Yeah. I'm a formerly licensed CPA. I know what I'm talking about when I tell you what to do. So this is just consider it just look, my personal opinion in the form of St. Jim's. Look, it's my personal opinion in the form of edutainment. Yeah, look, I am not your tax, business, or legal professional. This is not constituted. Look, you can't constitute it as professional advice. As long as you know that, let's go on and get into the show. Okay, let's go. (laughs) You talk money, I hear you. I hear money. What is that now? You ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't hit all my. I keep it moving like. Okay now, look.
can we talk about the money you've been hearing and how much of it you going to hear in the form of a check at your doorstep? Yeah. Look. Okay, so now there's a couple of things I got to talk about. I'm going to go, look, there's about seven different things I'm going to cover, but I'm trying to tell you this is an easy episode. Yeah. So the best way for me to start off by saying this is before we get into these splits and these cuts, for you to even understand what I'm talking about, I hope you are using the template I gave you because I'm telling you the template don't cost you nothing. The podcast is free and so is this template. Free 99. Get music on TV.com. Go over there. That's how you're going to convert your songs to one stop. That's how you're going to know the splits that I'm about to discuss. Okay, now let's go. So if you did a uh if you signed that split sheet and you out here pitching your music direct to these music buyers, look, whoever is the one stop, the money coming straight to the one stopper. I'm trying to tell you, let me tell you what's coming. Okay. It ain't gonna be two checks. You're getting one check. Let's call this check Mr. or Mrs. All in fee. Yeah, look, within that fee. I'm trying to tell you, they covering the cost of two licenses. There's a synchronization license that covers the publishing. There's a master use license that covers the fee for the master owners. So now, let me tell you what makes up publishing. I could have did this in a separate episode, but ain't nobody got time for that. Let's let's learn it all now. <laughs> yeah. Within the publishing, there is two shares two sides there's the publisher share and there's the writer share now let's could, could we talk about the writers real quick before we get started in these splits within the writers the writer is anything that helped create this song so a writer is both a songwriter lyricist producer musician whoever helped create this song that ain't a work for hire and if you don't know what i'm talking about with work for hire i done told you to watch previous episodes you playing around okay i ain't gonna explain that this episode anybody that's not hired for work they getting a split okay now we're just talking about how they splits them split up now when the check come in they're gonna pay one fee if you was a one stop you done cleared both sides the publishing and the master to both you cleared both licenses so they're gonna just pay it in one check to save time and printing paper now within that check 50 percent of the men of the all-in fee the upfront all-in uh license fee will go to the publishing publishing hear what i'm saying not the publisher 50 percent of the money going to the publishing 50% 50% of the money going to the master owners because they're two separate licenses. Now, within that publishing check, that check is for the synchronization license. That's getting split 50 50 to the songwriters and the publishers. However, your splits are set. Okay, so now if you went and downloaded that split sheet, you might have six or seven writers getting 16.67, 16.66%. However, you cut them numbers and chop them down. You should have 100% accounted for in the writer's part. You should have 100% accounted for in the publisher's part. And the two of those things equal up to publishing. So y'all going to all share 50% of that all-in fee. And then you should have 100% accounted for in the master section. So y'all going to share the other 50% of that all in sync fee. Does that make sense? Is it clear? If it's not clear, put it in the comments and start this episode over. You probably need to hear it again. (laughs) Yeah. But look, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to explain the splits that are included on that split sheet. When you download the template, right, and you go to switching and changing numbers, then you just look get the math, the math, and bust out the calculator. Look, not now, but bust out that calculator. <laughs> Do it now, anyway, and figure them numbers out. So let's say, look, the all-in fee was $10,000. You got a nice little placement on TV, little background something, another on a real nice net work television spot and they pay all in ten thousand that means five thousand look if we're going by that split sheet i created if you done did something else and did something else i don't know how to help okay i can only give you an example for the split sheet and the template that i gave you for free okay now 
let's just assume for this example for the sake of this example you got a songwriter and you got a a producer right so you got two writers they both sharing everything they made the song together and they just decided look let's 50 50 chop this whole thing in the middle okay now there's a ten thousand dollar placement on the line okay five thousand going to the publishing five thousand going to the uh master owners okay so now if it's a 50 50 across the line it's just gonna be five thousand to each person but let's explain how the splits go five thousand would go to the publishing five thousand would go to the master uh use license so within the master owners 20 uh 2500 would go to one master owner 2500 would go to the other master owner now for this other five thousand that's going to the synchronization license 2500 is going to the writer's share 2500 is going to the publisher share so that 2500 that goes to the writers if they split everything half and half um six 1250 i'm sorry 1250 will go to one songwriter 1250 will go to another songwriter 1250 will go to one publisher 1250 will go to the other publisher and then like i said the master is going to be split five thousand and half so 2500 to one master owner 2500 to the other master owner I ain't got time. Look, I ain't got a screen. I ain't got a backboard to do no drawing and no tutorials. I'm trying to tell you if the numbers don't number, if the math ain't math, then go ahead and press play again because I just made the numbers easy so you understand it. Okay. Now, if your splits are different, just whatever your splits are for the songwriter share, you would just take that bucket of money that's reserved for the songwriters in total, that 2,500, and multiply it times those percentages that go to each songwriter. That way you'll know what amount of money they get. Same for the publishing. You would take that 2,500 going to the publisher and multiply it times whatever splits you have for your publishers. And the numbers, look, if you did your percentages correctly, it should add up to 100%. And when you multiply it and you add the numbers back, it should all equal the total that's reserved for the publishing, the total that's reserved for the songwriter, the total that's reserved for the master owner. If you went for goodness sink, we send you a report that shows you how we did. Look, if you ever got a placement, with for goodness sink. I done sent you a report that shows you how I did the math and that the math is mathing. Yeah. Look. That's if you did a direct placement. You get to keep all the money and split it up according to that split sheet. Nah, there might some be some people that ain't on that split sheet that's getting some money. Could we talk about it? I'm going to bust out the notes for this one because I don't want to leave nobody out. Yeah, we almost done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next, the first person in line to get some money is your sync agent. I'm trying to tell you, look, if I got you a placement and I was your agent, I got my money first. I'm trying to tell you they sent that full all-in fee to the agent. If you're assigned to an agent, I'm telling you this is what happened and why you didn't see the full amount of money. <laughs> yeah. They sent the money to your agent because your agent is the one that did the admin. So they paid your agent the all-in fee. You signed an agreement with your agent for representation. And you agreed to get them commission. Guess what? The agent going to take their commission first. So now you're going to have a new number that you got to work with this is the net sync fee because the gross fee came into the agent the agent took their commission and mailed you or whoever was the one stop the net fee or sometimes the agent will email individually the songwriter the publishers the master owners their their share and their cuts okay that's what for goodness sake does if you were one of them janky agents that didn't send you a report they just sent you a check and you don't know where this magical number came from go back and look at your split sheet look at the agreement that you signed with the agent and make sure you do the math and make sure they know how to add make sure they're sending you the right money yeah any whack i'm trying to tell you some people don't be they math don't be mathing and i've been look when i didn't have my song signed to an agent i was reaching out like look, the numbers don't calculate could you go ahead and send me the rest of my money yeah <laughs> yeah i love to hear more money than what the checks say anyway another person that might get your money before you do and they ain't on a split sheet i'm gonna cover both of these together is the a, a third party oh i'll say this too for the agents that could be just a music plugger. Anybody that you agreed to have pitch your music and give them some money. They're going to take their money first. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you now. Anyway, um, the uh, third and fourth person that might take their money first. Yeah. 
is the label or the publisher if it's an independent label or publisher or a major label or publisher i'm trying to tell you when that sink come in if the money come to them <laughs> yeah look you may not even get a check but could we talk about it we'll cry later but could we talk about it right now if your music is signed to a publisher or a label, they have what when they spend money on you and sign you to them deals. I'm trying to tell you it's a loan. And I'm trying to tell you you're going to owe them some money for whatever they spent to create these songs. Now, when that money come in for them sync placements, they done probably gave you an advance. Look, if you with a janky publisher in them, they didn't even give you an advance. They just took your music. Now, when the placement come in, they're going to hold that money. They're going to look at their records and say, hum, hum, hum. did they pay us back all the money we loaned them? Look, did they give us back the money we advanced them? <laughs> yeah, look, they done paid you your sync fees in advance. So if they, you didn't recoup the fees, they finna keep that whole check. Matter of fact, you ain't even gonna look, you hear money, but you won't see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That hurts. Anyway, if you do receive money, I don't know what your splits is with your label. Look, if you ain't indie, if you didn't use this split sheet and you on a label, I, look, could you say your prayers to sweet baby Jesus? If you own a publisher and they got that check, would you say your prayers to sweet baby Jesus and hope? Look, hope that you done recouped and that they actually owe you money because look you're gonna have to get lawyers involved to see and start auditing and making sure that they ain't taking your money and i'm trying to tell you most of the time they are <laughs> anyway ew i don't want to talk about that no more now but um if you was look if you your own publisher you know how to do the splits and the calculations look i'm gonna do episodes about that because you your own publisher and you don't even know we talk about that next episode anyway Another person, well, I just say another party that could get some money before you do. Could we talk about it? Could we call it? It's called FX. It's called foreign exchange. I'm trying to tell you, look, you might get a placement overseas. You hear some money. And they could look, they got it in another currency. You can't put that in your bank in America. Look, I'm trying to tell you if you got American banking or just another uh, outside country bank. With a different currency. It's going to have to go through little foreign exchange. And if it's exchanging to a little weak currency, the numbers you was expecting <laughs> ain't going to be what you see. I'm trying to tell you, you hear money in, in pounds or euros. And I'm trying to tell you, it's going to come in dollars. And look, if the dollar is weak right now, it's going to come in a little less dollars. Yeah, look. If you hear money in Australia and it come to America and the, 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 the foreign exchange is a little weak in Australia and the dollar is a little stronger, you might see some more money. Yeah. So you just never know what you're going to see. But I'm trying to tell you the foreign exchange might flip them numbers around and not even look like what you agreed to on the contract. Then you got to take the money once you convert it to your to your currency and then split it according to the split sheet agreement i'm trying to tell you if you don't got that split sheet template could you go to get music on tv stop playing with me look anyway i want to say this too because when it's fx that's taking your money could i tell you who gonna take it whoever look if this was a direct license whoever cleared it one stop it's coming in their currency. So if look, if you got collaborators in other countries, I'm trying to tell you, your money might go through multiple exchanges. I was working with, a, um, I got some songs, but look, I, got, I work with people across the world. I'm trying to tell you, I get money in every country, or at least I try. <laughs> anyway, when you're superstar, you're going to work with anybody that's great. You ain't going to care where they live. Look, if they unsigned and you can make money with them, go ahead and do that now. I was making money. I said it was going to be a short episode. I'm sorry. I lied. There's a lot I got to tell you this episode. Anyway, when you making money, look, I was working with this co-writer. They live in, I think, the UK. Look, the money came from Australia. It came to me first. So they got first you had to convert it to dollars. Then I had to convert it to her country currency. I forgot what that money ended up. And that money had done exchange and exchange. And look, you might look, you might gain or lose money. Look, them numbers going to look totally different. So anyway, I'm just trying to tell you, you might need to get some exchange rates and understand what day they transferred it and go look, to recalculate this stuff. You may need more than a calculator. I'm trying to tell you now. 
Who else could get your money? Look, if your money coming from overseas or from any country other than the one you currently live in. I'm trying to tell you. First of all, I'm trying to tell you this. Uncle Sam got cousins. But Uncle Sam cousins, I'ma cover both of these. Cause look, Uncle Sam can might hold your money. Look, if you got a one stop contact that don't be paying their taxes, I'm trying to tell you, some of these people be out here look on punishment with the with the tax people. Yeah, look, some of these people got a withholdings thing come to their name. Like, look, if they win lottery winners or something. Look, if you win the lottery, I say this. If you win the lottery, they fit to withhold because they don't trust that you're gonna pay them <laughs> yeah but for anything else look the government usually trusts you to look take the money but don't forget to send me my money come april of next year yeah but i'm trying to tell you some people be in trouble with uncle sam where look they got a withholdings letter where you supposed to hold taxes because these people ain't known, ain't, you know, they ain't known to be paying. So now they on punishment and they can't even get all the money up front. I hope that's not one of your one-stop co-writers or contacts because look, they might hold some taxes because they don't trust your co-writer. Anyway, that's just something to think about. But I don't know how you would know until you get up in that pickle. And when I tell you, you look, congratulations, you all are in a mess. Look, look, get a CPA. Don't talk to me about this. I can't help you. Anyway, I'm trying to tell you, Uncle Sam also got cousins. And this is another party that could hold that man. Can I tell you something? Can I share a personal story? Look, I had got a placement. I tell you, I get I get placements all around the world. When I tell you when you're a superstar, you're going to get money from every country. Or you're going to try to. Anyway, that this money was coming from, it was coming from a country in Europe. I don't remember which one. All I know is they held my money. Can I tell you? They held 20%. Look, they, they, they just hold it for no reason. Look, I don't live over there. I'm not paying you taxes. Can I tell you? America got a treaty with most of these countries that look American citizens going to pay taxes to America and you work that out with the look y'all do the country fighting behind the scenes and you get your money from America later yeah but I'm not a citizen of your country I'm not paying you no taxes anyway give me my money but what I want to tell you is that if you get a placement from a foreign land and they withhold money and just give you the look, they, look personal story they kept 20 percent i'm trying to tell you i was looking around like if you don't cut me the rest of my check <laughs> look, don't look, don't proportion my check give me all my money and Asa was like no we just do withholdings and so i had to go look i had to file some paperwork to tell these people send me my money and go get my money from uncle sam you go discuss that with him i'm paying him taxes not you so um discuss it with your cpa if you get a placement in a foreign land and they withhold the taxes look if your cpa don't know what to file i'm trying to tell you you need a new cpa i think we covered everything i feel like i feel like you know how to go get this money and you know how to recalculate and do the math but if you're a little confused look, go ahead and leave a comment if you broke look if you broke don't talk to me i said if you broke you can't talk to me hey i only hear money babe Talk money, I hear. I hear it. I hear money. Yeah.